G'day, my name is Scuzz. Welcome back to Expeditions. All right, let's uh, get back into this, eh? So, back into the beginner area, little Colorado. All right, so we've done that one. We did that in the last episode. Um, so we've unlocked a few other ones to do here now. So we'll hit this one up here. Uh, they say that a lake located near the camp cannot be crossed by a truck. Go out there and check it out. Don't forget to take your company tools with you. All right, so we want at least one truck, and I reckon it's going to be a job for this boy. Uh, and we need to take a couple items as well. So we need to take you and you. These are some of the cool things that I wish they had in Mudrunner. Well, not Mudrunner, a SnowRunner. And Mudrunner, but uh, yeah, they're so bloody handy. Anchor points and jack screws, just so you can recover your vehicles. Um... I don't think we need, we can get a spare wheel. Do we need a spare wheel? I don't think we do. We really need much more at the moment. Hang on, can, what else can we do? We can customise this a bit as well. Can, what upgrades can we get for this beast? Uh, ooh, the gearbox. Uh, stock or high range? A minus, B, A minus. What about you? A minus, B... The same. Mm. We'll just keep with the stock one there. Uh, can't we unlock that. What tires we've we got? We've got off-road tires. That's fine. Gageable. Okay. All right. Let's not mess around with this too much. Can't really do too much more with it at the moment. By the looks of it, I would like to get some upgrades on it though. A handy little little beast. All right, uh, so that's done there. Again, I will take my little canyon as a backup. Uh, I'm going to remove. I'm going to take um, the metal detector off, and we're going to put the roof rack on. All right um, now. This took me a while to figure out, and I have got another game going just so I can test a few things. Um, so when you buy a roof rack and stuff like that, you've got to make sure you fill it, and um, you've got to pay attention to what's going on on the screen right now. Down the bottom here, it says fill slots. Hit that, and then now you can fill this up uh, with extra fuel, and generally maybe a couple of spare parts. That's what you want. All right. So you got to remember to do that. That fills the slots. Um, I was driving around with all this stuff and didn't realize I didn't have anything in it. <laughs> and I couldn't put anything in it. So it's in here where you do it. <laughs> all right. Um, geez, just spent a lot of money just putting all that on the roof. <laughs> I've no more upgrades for now. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. All right, so let's get straight into this then. We've got everything we need. All right, so where is this quest? It's why does it want to start me over here? But it looks like it's over here. I need to be. So can we? Ah, no, that doesn't matter now. We have to drive there. Flip the wrong button. I think you can change your vehicles around there. Um, I want to switch trucks. Uh, I think we have to go to the map to switch now. Trucks, here we go. Let's get, let's get grooving. Now these we can pay... No, 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 no. Hold X. Yeah, these you can build modules that give you stuff, but it costs you money. And it costs 10 grand. For me, it doesn't seem worth it at this point in the game. Save our money. Upgrades for our trucks will help us out when we're through this and into the real world. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, I think we have to get to... 
Yeah, I don't know why it starts us over here by default, even though we need to be over here. And you know what? I'm just going to recover. Because <laughs> the quest mark is like right here. That doesn't cost anything for the recoveries at this point in the game. See, look at that. Now we can set off to, to do what we need to do here. If you have a turn, then open the inventory where you will find a jack screw and use it. Uh, sorry. Find a jack screw and use it to put your car back on its wheels. This item has a limited number of charges and only works if the trunk is overturned. That thing is bloody awesome. Yeah, it's in there. So you can use these two. Right, so let's head off down here. So now where do you want me to go? Get to the swamp. So there's another marker over here. I don't need to turn on the four-wheel drive yet, which is a good thing. We need to use less fuel. A turning circle of a sausage this thing has. And you know what? You know what? I'm going to turn it on the four-wheel drive. I'm going to stop it. Let's just go around. Just go around. That's what this game's about, isn't it? Alright. What do you reckon? Uh, we can check to see how deep this is. Well, actually, we can go here and use this and so Oh, that's not too bad. And we can just wander our way through it. There we go. Up here. Oh, nice looking. Uh, okay, we've got to... He wants a winch, there's no convenient point to contact. Use the anchor. Anchor can be placed on non stony ground. I need to use the winch here. Obviously, wants me to use it. I don't really want to put it anywhere. I don't think I need it. To be honest, I don't think we need the winch. I think we can just... This thing has got big enough tyres. Look the size of these tyres. And I reckon... A bit of brute force. <laughs> we can make it. And I didn't even have to put the tyre pressure down then. <laughs> so that was a quick and easy one to do. And see, it started to be on the other side of the map, which... Would, didn't really realize but here we go let's keep going let's keep going we want to see more and more don't we we want to see more so what's this heavy shipping one one of our forwarders is stuck in a swamp so we'll have to deploy and evacuate the truck this is a heavy truck so you need a powerful vehicle to pull it out and take the outpost so all right so we need a heavy vehicle for this one which is good we don't mind to use a heavy vehicle so that would say we'd have to use the old step Fantastic truck, in my opinion. All reliable. Um, what can we do to you? What can we do to you? What colours have we got here as well? Colours. So these are all just colours. There was more. Oh, here we go. Not bad. Uh, the blue's not bad. I don't know. Do you like the green? The blue. The green. Actually, yeah, that'll do for now. Um, actually, I wanted to see what else we could do before we got too carried away. Like, can I? I mean, I don't have a huge amount of money. We can get a lift kit on it. Three grand. Um, that mean we can get bigger tires. We got thirty nines. Even some forties. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna get that lift kit. I reckon. We'll put that on. There we go, 42s. I 
we got all that, so we need these to go with it. Yep, done. Done. There we go. We've just made this a bit more of a beast. Oh, look at that now. <laughs> I don't mind that colour, actually. The colour is not bad. Maybe we should have a, a colour scheme going uh, in the vehicles here. Um, all right, and I'm going to grab this beast as a backup. Uh, we'll put you down there. Uh, can I just... I want to quick have a look at the are the stickers as well we can put on vehicles. Is there like a similar sort of pattern down here? Or, um... Oh, different pattern. That's the same colour though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go that. I don't even know if I like that as much on this one. Yeah, same colour scheme. It's right, I guess. I guess it's right. Alright, um... Oh, that'll do. Let's go. That's starting me here again, but this is where we need to be this time. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine in uh, my eyes. It always starts me in the little scout. Uh, that's not actually a bad thing. So we could actually... I can see the truck from over here. Let me just... Uh, Back up a bit here. Right there. Uh, and I think let's just drive around. I'm just going to move you over here for a sec. We're going to jump into the, the big boy truck over here. Just going to get this guy out of the way. Uh, here we go. Range truck. Whoa, oh, so good to be back in a truck. <laughs> Especially off-road trucks, though. These things are monsters. <laughs> See how far we can get before I have to turn the all-wheel drive on. It's already starting to slip a bit, I think. Yeah, I reckon we'll have to put that on. Turn that life a lot easier. Oh yeah, I can feel that already. Alright, uh, just watch out. Really shitty turning circle. Try not to damage it. So, I think it was just this way. It's a little bit easy. Hit the parkers. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a bit of a slope. Uh, let's get the old chopper out. Alright, so we should be able to come down here. Alright, that's fine. Go down here. We need to get down there. There's multiple ways, actually. We can go back. Well, actually, it's probably better to go. Through the cactuses. Yeah, right there. That's where we need to be. No secrets or anything hidden around here. Not that I can see, no airdrops or anything like that. No. Alright, done. Alright, let's get moving again. Alright, so. Yep. Easy as goblin pie. All right, so, um, let's see. Yeah, well, we're just going to plow through these cactuses because, you know, we can do that. <laughs> they may be spiky, they squishy. All right, so I think... We need to tow this out, so I'm going to smash my truck. No, I'm going to just get this sort of back into a position where we can sort of pull out here. There we go. Right, so that should be fine. 
Alright, so now it will tell us about winching it and stuff like that. Alright, so here we go. After the winch is secured, turn on the engine and away we go. Alright, so let's just move forward a bit more. We want to get out of the muck. Right, chuck a handbrake on. Alright, let's get the old winchy out. Alright, we want to go on this one down the bottom here. And then we want to attach to... Uh, there it is. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. Alright, so and we'll turn on the truck's engine. Alright, we should be good to go, I reckon. Alright, we're going to pull the truck a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. Alright, 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 alright. So, before we get too carried away, where the hell do we need to take it? We, uh, we're dropping it back where we were. Oh, that's easy. That is bloody easy. Simple missions. Yeah, get off here. You can do it. The truck's got its own juice there, so that's fine. Should be able to make it like this. Actually, let me um, drop the tire pressure a bit as well. I'll make it even easier to tow this thing. There we go. Especially for this stuff. There we go. All the traction we can get. Still a lot of rocks around here, so I'm gonna keep that tire pressure down. Should have probably put it down before. It definitely makes a big difference in this game, it's just surprising. Something simple like that. We're almost there. Take this one a bit wide, I reckon. Hopefully, not taking it. Go back a bit. Turn out, watch out. There we go. We just have to do it this way. I hate turning circle when these things sometimes. There we go. There we go. Job complete. Alright, let's get the rewards. Go back to the headquarters. Alright, let's see what's next. See what's next on the list. We've got one left in here and we're done. Alright, so Earth Revives. Uh, the Seismic Vibrator. All right, so that's the big boy truck here again. Um, I didn't even read what the job was, but this is apparently the thing. <laughs> so we're going to put you on the back. All right. Um, there's anything else? How much money we got there? The new snorkel? Do, do we really need, no, I don't think we really need that at the moment. Doesn't really give us any performance. Is there a better engine we can get? So what are we on? That one there, B plus, B plus. More power would be nice. Especially with all that weight. You know what? Let's get that. Let's get that. We can actually sell that as well, I think. Yeah. All right. All right, let's get our second one. And that, again, that's just going to be our backup vehicle, which is this bad boy here. Don't know if I'm taken by that color. Don't think I'm taken by it. I like it, but I don't like it. I don't know. All right, I'm going to give it another run and we'll see how we go. <laughs> 
Uh, so we've got the seismic vibrator. We don't really need anything else. Let's just go. Um, where the hell do we need to start? We need to start. Where's the job for this? Is that it there? All right, so we need to start here anyway. All right, so it's done. All right, because you can place your vehicles in different areas if you press the right buttons and you don't screw it up like me. Um, again, we're just going to move this guy out of the way. This is to back up, just in case we run out of fuel or something. No, no, no. I know. I'm just getting this out of the way, you dingus. Ah. We'll just back up a bit here. Where was that thing? Had that distance where I could. Uh... There you go. Trucks nearby. That's what we want. Range truck. Right, now we've got the stuff we need. I am just going to chuck that on right now. What is our tire pressure at? That's fine for now, I guess. Alright, so, alright, this is similar to how it worked in uh, Snow Runner. It shouldn't be too hard. Alright, so we've got to get to the right spot and sort of find it, like, layer it down. Gives us sort of a countdown to where we are. Uh, no, I don't need to build that. Here we go. Alright, so uh, 57, 53, 50 meters. We keep heading this way. 40, 36, 32. I think we can go up here. 37. Yep, yeah, it's counting down. The closer we get, then we should be able to deploy. Here we, go. we should be able to deploy the thing now. Here we go. Start seismic. Put the brake on. Do some thumping. All right. So now, where do we go? Give us a rough idea. No, we just gotta wing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, six, so we'll just keep going forward because I don't want to turn the truck around. Uh, that's a dead end. 285. Well, it's going down, which is a good thing. Two seventy, two fifty six. As long as it keeps going down, that's it, we're on track. Oh, my head about time as well. It's starting to get a little bit dark. Not dark enough, but you know, twilight is starting to get a bit dark. Alright, so, what have we got? We've got down or up? Alright, let's see if it's up first. Back up a bit. Let's that gap there, mate. There we go. Least of it's, you know, this is going up, isn't it? Where is it? No, no, it's gone down. 96, yep, okay. That was where I need to go. What the hell? Oh, it's stuck in the mud, for oh, shit. Mm, okay. Keep moving. Oof. Okay, you can do it. Up this way. This is almost a dead end. I mean, hang on. This, this is a dead end. Pretty sure that's not 130 meters. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to find that up there. Where the hell are we and where do we need to go? Maybe down here. Let's see if we can reverse out. 
Uh, well, uh, hang on, there's, some, there's a freaking guide right there that says go that way. Doesn't it? Let's go that way. Okay. Thank you guys. Where are we? Let's, uh, let's go slowly. Climber of descent. <laughs> That's which way you go, I guess. Okay, so 90 meters. It's ticking down. Oof. Come on over that. Okay, we'll go around there. We'll go through the cactuses. Yeah, take that one. Then with their spiky spikes, we can do all that. Nah. What are you gonna do against the truck, mate? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Can't even cause a puncher. Oh, looks like someone's been doing some mining here already. Hmm? Hmm. What else? No? Which way? Here? There we go. Brakes. Get the thumping happening. Dunk a dunk a dunk a dunk. And we're done. Get the rewards. Nicely done. Okay. Cool bananas. So we've done all of Little Colorado now. Well, not all of it. So now that we've done all that, we have unlocked free roam. So we can actually um, jump into this, for example. Um, I'll just put you there, and I'm going to grab... You need a paint job, my friend. Um, we need to have like a company theme going on here. Uh, where is the upgrade thing? Customize, there we go. Hey! Ooh, what's that? What is that? Anything? What's that? What, that doesn't do anything. What the hell is that? <laughs> that eye baffles me. They got the army thing going, stuff like that. Maybe we could go colour like that instead. I reckon that would look better on the on the other truck, actually. If we go that colour, oh, the tray's colour with it. That's uh that's awesome. So hang on, we're, 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 we're that looks a lot better. It's just a lot more comfortable to the eye. Alright, but anyway. Um, and any other thing is we are gonna I'm gonna chuck the truck down here as well. And while we're at it, I'm just going to change your colour so we look like the team. Should actually I know I'm getting sidetracked again here, but we should check out some of these stickers. T-Rex. Oh, they're all locked anyway. I beat the game and all I got was this lousy sticker. Okay. <laughs> you see me droning the hating. And head. Emotional support vehicle. <laughs> some good ones here. Apparently I have unlocked some... Um, <laughs> I've unlocked some uh, stickers or something for... Snow runner as well by having this. A little dirt never hurt. Look where you're going. <laughs> it's, it's the only exterior ones at the moment. Uh, uh, we've got different slots. It's only on the doors, is it? Okay. Alright, so we'll just have a quick look at um, the free roam here. All right, and we're all going to deploy um, over here. All right, so I want to be at build operation base. So select deploy zone. 
So I have to start two there, and one has to start over there. So that's fine. That's fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's quite all right. So now that we've unlocked the free roam, we can go around and um, pick up some of the stuff that's been lying around here. Like some of these airdrops and stuff like that. Um, where is my other car? He's down at the... Um, Yeah. So now we just drive around and um, just pick up all that other stuff and get some money for it. You can sell the stuff you pick up and collect. And you can hang on to items as well. There's a lot of items worth hanging on to that you pick up in this area. All you got to do is collect them and um, take them back to uh, uh, your base there. And um, I'm going to remember how to get back over there. Um, we haven't scouted everything out around here as well and there could be extra stuff let's climb over there um oh so there's, i haven't seen any airdrops around here i want to climb to the top of this peak over here and see if we can get we just back up a bit mate i might turn the full driver um just want to see if we can get the helicopter out over here. So I want to have a look around because I'm pretty sure I reckon we've missed a few things around here. There might be a few airdrops and stuff in this area because we haven't fully explored everything. Oop. Haven't fully explored everything. And there are some bonus quests as well you can do in the area as well before I forget about that as well. So there's the um, so free roam. You got this, explore the map. But we've got this gold mining, ancient remains, and the altar. So there's a few things we can do there to get some bonus cash, which I recommend doing as well before you start getting into it, because it gives you a chance to gear your vehicles up um, and get some decent upgrades on them, which really will help. Especially when you can carry stuff like, like what I've got on the roof of this. Just having stuff like that makes a big difference. You're gonna, yes. Right, so that's the crossing there. I don't really see any ring around here. I don't know. I would have thought there'd be something hidden around here. It's a bad signal as well. They've changed the way the drone works a little bit, like the signal doesn't get as annoying anymore. <laughs> There has been a minor patch um, since we last played this as well. A little bit of an update. Let's see if there's anything around here of value. I don't know if there is. But that's the way we need to go is around there. We need to go down that way and around to get to that crossing over there. Uh, let's head off well, I mean we could just quick travel back as well but there is I think there's at least one airdrop on the way back that I want to pick up this is not too bad this won't take too long anyway and I would like to sort of just tidy up with this area before we finish up a bit um, and then in the next episode uh, we'll probably hit uh, one of the other areas that we did tip that vehicle um, okay, how bad is this water? And I don't want tire pressure. I want... Increase. You're not too shabby. Rocks or something in here. Yeah, let's... Uh, a bit. Just helps get service and leave the rocks. I don't know if we should check the depth of the water again. Mm, it seems green all the way, just a little bit of yellow on the side of us here. And you can tell because we're leading over a bit as well. There's a point where we can winch as well. Yeah, you can do it. We haven't even had the diff lock on yet. Like, we're plowing through this. 
Yeah, we are going to have to put our headlights on when we start to get a bit dark. I just love the little details in this game as well. So, so cool. <laughs> Do it. There we go. Stop holding my breath. Go down here. I really do love these games. So much fun. Like, um, I mean, I'd love to do this in real life, but bloody hell. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wouldn't want to destroy my car. <laughs> I wouldn't want to destroy it. Uh, it's so easy to do. I mean, a lot of these vehicles are made for it, but I mean, this is this is pretty extreme, actually. This is like as extreme as it's probably going to get. Well, no, this is a beginning area, so this is probably pain compared to how bad it can really get. <laughs> no, right. It's just it's amazing how much better it's just reducing that tire pressure. Shit, shit, shit. Just back up a bit, mate. You're gonna roll if you're not careful. Mm, bloody hell, we saved that one. <laughs> if you watch you start putting roof racks and shit on these things, you start getting a bit top heavy. It makes you just wanna roll sometimes. Alright, let me just park here for a sec. Get the old map out. Alright, so we're going down this canyon. The canyon is in the canyon. This over here is what I wanted to get. And you can see here, it's got a few items in there. Uh, that one's got nothing in it. That one, that one does have an item in there to pick up. We do have another quest up here that we can do as well. But I do want to pick some of these items up um, before we finish the episode. And uh, there's another quest over there. There's a few things still to be done in this area here. You don't have to leave straight away. Like I said, it would be nice to just finish up those little quests we've got um, before we head over because they they're just going to give us that money that will we'll just help. Right, so we want to head over that way, I believe. So can we? Across here, just back up a bit. Across here where it's nice and uh, uh, you shithead, don't you dare. Um let's cross right here, there we go. There we go. And I think Yeah, I think we chuck a turn here. Put up this point here. Now we're just going to figure out how the hell we're going to get down there. Over that way and then that way. Okay, that makes sense. That makes lots of sense. Watch out for that. Just go around it if you can. Is that our way down? It most certainly was. There's a lot of rocks. What's our tire pressure? That's fine. Oh, that's not that bad. Right, so, there it is. Discovered a new Ford. Alright, so what have you got for us? You've got that. Got the bone. And you got some scrap member. So we can use that, apparently you can use that in the workshop. I haven't got the workshop yet, so I don't know, but you can sell the bones. And uh, these just save you from buying them. <laughs> but look, you can get some fuel off of this as well while we're here. And we can fill that up. We can actually get some spare parts. So now, uh, I don't need to use anything. All my car is in good nick. Nothing wrong with it there. Right, so we don't need to take any of that. If you actually have a, the um, flatbed truck, you can actually load up the tray with some of that stuff as well. Uh, and then sell it later, I think. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I reckon we might have to whack the old diff lock on. 
Uh, we're gonna go slow and do a different look on. This is weird. Okay. Just back up a bit, maybe I came in the wrong angle. What the hell is going on this one? Really? Fucking stuck. What the fudge? I'm totally stuck. What the hell am I stuck on? I'm stuck on something here. Let's see if we can get this pair this out. Yeah, I'm stuck on something here. Um, put you in low, put this back on. See if we can get out of this. I'm just gonna get some traction. There we go, we're getting something there. Alright, you can do it. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on, you little bastard. <laughs> Come on! No! Don't stand on two wheels! Oh, I didn't see you could do that. Uh. Get that traction, please. <coughs> God damn it. Let's see if we just power through it again. Come on, do the old side to side. Just can't get back up this hill. Put the handbrake on, please. Um, you. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna try this again slowly. I'm gonna put that on. We can get the traction we need. We've got the tyre pressure right down. Just can't make it over. Oh, we got it. There we go. There we go. There's probably an easier way to get out of this. This is part of the fun of this game. <laughs> I mean, I could probably just recover back to the base. But where would the fun in that be? There we go. Alright, so. Now we can go back to auto. We'll take the stuff back to base. Whoa, what the fuck? What the hell was that? What's going on there? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's what's going on. Look at him driving flat tires. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what happens if you get flat tires, mate. Don't think there's anything in here of value. Oof, this will damage my vehicle. Let's have a look here anyway. Uh, this did have some gas, which I will steal. Let's say no to that. Alright, you're full up on gas again. Um. Let me just see, go back out of this, let's be, can we, how bad is that? Let's well repair it while we can, I can't repair that, we can replace the tires but we can't repair the tires. I'm not that skilled. <laughs> there is another quest here as well that we can do, this is the view one. So we might have to do that in another episode.
Yes, I reckon we've run out of time for this one. So, but yeah, before we go, we'll just go over here and I'll show you. Break. All right, so we've got trade. Um, we can store the stuff in our base. We can put that in the base. We can put that in the base. So the scrap metal it says can be disassembled to the parts in the workshop. So I'm just going to hang on to that for now. I've got no idea what the workshop is. I haven't gotten that far in the game. Anchors are going to be worth hanging on to. We'll hang on to those for later on. Now this, uh, we've got the store, which is the next one over. If you got the left button and right button up the top there. Uh, we can sell that for a thousand bucks. There we go. Easy money. Easy money. So, yeah, I'm going to leave the episode there for now, guys. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.